Are you a winner? Do you know how to be a winner? Do you know how winners think? Do you know how to win daily? Do you know how to win long term? Do you know what the psychology of a winner is? Do you have it? Do you want it? If you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you can't. Hello coaches and welcome back to La Vida Football book series. Uh, if you are new to the community, welcome. Uh, my name is Luis Taviano and I am a coach from California. I currently live and coach in Germany. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, you can do that uh, on the bottom right hand uh, side of your screen, right there where the La Vida Football uh, watermark logo is. Uh, you can also do that underneath your uh, screen where it says subscribe. And if you would like to get notifications, you can turn those on by simply clicking on that little bell sign next to the subscribe. So the book that we will be talking about today is The Psychology of Winning uh, by Dr. Dennis Waitley. Dr. Dennis Waitley is a motivational speaker, an author, uh, and a consultant in the field of high performance achievement. Uh, for, first of all, this book was just amazing. And uh, throughout the book, I kind of felt like I was at a motivational seminar uh, listening to, you know, to, to Dr. Dennis Waitley himself speak. Uh, the, the words that he uses in this book kind of just uh, paints a very vivid picture of, uh, you know, of, of what he's trying to tell you and, and kind of the message that he is trying to deliver. So now this is, video is going to be quite long. So this is the type of video where you can just kind of put your... your uh, your YouTube video on and uh, kind of do your own thing as you listen to the content. Uh, and that's something that I, I, I recommend. You're not going to have to look at me the entire time, but this is something that, uh, that you know, you can do as, as you are getting ready to go to work or as you're on your way to work and just want to listen to something. Uh, this might be one of those type of videos. Okay. So now let's get into the book. What is the book about? Uh, the book is about essentially the psychology of winning and what it is. And uh, basically, Dr. Waitley mentions 10 qualities of what it takes to, to have and to achieve the psychology of winning. So the first quality is positive self-awareness. And uh, positive self-awareness is uh, to be aware of our situation, to be aware of our, of our environment, uh, and essentially being aware that we, could, that we could learn more, that we can do more, that we can uh, experience more. And uh, part of that awareness is, is to have empathy and, and to be able to kind of learn from others, not only from our own experiences, but from experiences that others go through. Right. right? So kind of keeping that keeping that open mind so that, uh, you know, you can absorb, absorb more and uh, just kind of move forward, uh, you know, with with wealth of knowledge. Um, Dr. Dennis Waitley states that a loser would say something like, I wonder what I would do if I only had the chance. A winner would say, I know where I am, I know where I'm coming from, and I know where I'm going. That's positive self-awareness. So the next quality is uh, positive self-esteem. And positive self-esteem is essentially uh, connected with love. So loving yourself, loving who you are, loving everything about you because you can't share something that you don't have it's essentially like knowledge right how can you teach someone something you don't know uh, and and love is like that so you got to love yourself love who you are so that you can uh, yourself express that to to someone on it someone else and to be able to share that with somebody else so you have to you have to be able to to own that before you can sell that is essentially a, a message with uh, positive self-esteem and uh, with positive self-esteem is also uh, you know the idea of positive is very important here because uh, it's it's important that you keep a positive you know self loving image of yourself and you you allow that to kind of move you forward right because uh, being a loser in this situation is allowing influence from the outside kind of feed your 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 self-esteem right if people are saying something that's not you know positive in, in the and it's not helping you develop a positive self-esteem then a winner will be able to kind of 
move those comments aside and, and focus on, on themselves, love themselves and allow that to kind of move them forward. And lastly, to finish with positive self-esteem is, you know, be the person that believes they are a winner. You don't want to be the person that was almost successful because you could never really believe that you are a winner. So that's positive self-image. The third quality is positive self-control. Uh, you are in control of what happens to you. You are in control of your decisions. You are the captain to your ship. Losers let it happen. Winners make it happen. And uh, essentially this is an overall message of uh, positive self-control is that you are essentially, you know, determining where, where you go, how you're getting there. And, uh, you know, you essentially believe that you do things because you want to do them because you know they're going to benefit you rather than because you have to do it. A winner, a winner takes responsibility of their actions. They understand uh, the idea of cause and effect. And uh, you don't necessarily let, you know, fate kind of just determine what's going to happen to you. So you don't, you know, read your horoscope to see what kind of day you're going to have, right? You, 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 if you want to have a positive day, then you're going to do positive things. And uh, that's the idea of having positive self-control. For us coaches, uh, essentially, is, is doing good uh, and we can get something good out of it, right? If we, do, if we have a good training week, then we, we have a better possibility to have a good uh, performance on the weekend, right? If you're a coach looking for a coaching job, then, you know, essentially looking for possibilities online and, and kind of asking, uh, connecting with your network, that's kind of taking action, isn't it? Uh, rather than just kind of waiting and hoping that somebody just contacts you, right? It doesn't really work that way. So you have to be control of, of where you're directing and navigating yourself. And that is the idea of uh, positive self-control. And that is the idea uh, of how, you know, the psychology of a winner is. Okay, so the, the, the fourth quality is uh, positive self-motivation. And this is essentially having that, uh, that that desire to do something, to get something done, right? It's that that flame within you that drives you to, to action, right? But, you know, I did say positive self-motivation, meaning there is negative motivation. You can be motivated to do, you know, wrong. Uh, so essentially, we, uh, you know, we, we try to combine some of these some of these qualities and, and try to practice all of them so that we can we can essentially be a total winner um, right it's having control of those things uh, but yeah having having this desire to, to to you know to do more to do something right what motivates you right are, are you motivated to to get results on the weekend are you motivated to to get on your laptop, start applying for, for, for some uh, coaching opportunities? Are you, are you motivated to, to get your coaching licenses, right? So, you know, we, we, we can be motivated to, towards a certain, uh, to a certain place, but we can also be motivated in, in, you know, in a different way. Yeah, but we can have that uh, negative motivation as well, right? If you, if you are someone that's trying to, to eat healthy, right? When you go out to dinner, are you, are you getting, uh, you know, extra condiments? Are you getting some french fries instead of a salad as a side dish, right? So these are things that, uh, you know, that, that you are, are, are trying to kind of develop as well for yourself. Um, but this goes with positive self-motivation, yeah? So allow that, that motivation to, to, to move you forward um, and, and obviously uh, moving you towards your, towards, towards your goals. So the fifth thing is positive self-expectancy is, uh, and that, that is, you know, for, for a winner, this is very important, right? Winners expect to win, right? You, you, you expect that. You, you just know that you're a winner and, and you, you see that already, right? So it's, it's important to, to, uh, uh, to expect the best out of, out of every situation, right? And, and, you, and, and that kind of just makes you know, in that process, you make decisions that lead towards that. So there are three reasons why a winner is a winner. The first one is desire. So a, a, uh, a winner has desire to win, to move forward, to, to, to reach their goals. Second one is they have control. 
right? They are in control of, of what they want. They are in control of, you know, what, what they're going to do, which goes into the third thing that a, that a winner has, and that's uh, preparation, right? The, so the desire is there. We, we want to win. The control to make the right decisions is there. And the third thing is the preparation, so doing that work. And this is all part of positive self-expectancy, right? Because when we expect to have a certain result, we're gonna do what it requires to get that result, right? It's not, necess it's not luck, right? It's not necessarily we got lucky, right? And, and people may say that. People may say, oh yeah, this guy's just a lucky person. But no, it's, it's, it was work. There was a process that, that you know, led, led to a certain situation. So through this process, you develop some, some winning habits, right? Through, through, through the process of, of being in control of what you're doing and, and uh, you know, making the right decisions and having, having that expectation of yourself, uh, you know, you, you stumble upon some, some positive situations. Okay, so, uh, which goes into the next thing. Doubters don't win and winners don't doubt, right? If you're a winner, you have that image, you do what you know you have to do and, and you trust the process. You trust the process and, and, and you go with it. That's why, that's why this expectancy is very important. So expect to win and do the steps required. So the next thing is the positive self-image. And uh, the positive self-image is either going to be your handicap or it's going to be your autopilot to success because what you see is what you get. So one of the messages in the book is, is this. It is not what you are that holds you back. It's what you think you are not that holds you back. Meaning, if you don't think that you are good enough or qualified enough or have what it takes, then essentially that is what's holding you back rather than what you actually are, right? Because, well, you may have the qualifications, but if you do not think that you are good enough, then that is that is enough to, to, to hold you back from, you know, from from taking that step forward and, and perhaps asking someone to, to, to talk to you. Right. Or, or going in, going up to another coach just to ask for for some for sort of feedback, maybe perhaps or, or just to have a, a, a conversation. Right? If you don't think that you, you, you have what it takes, then that's what's holding you back. Okay, so now uh, with, with the positive self-image, uh, I don't know all of you, uh, and I don't know how you guys essentially think, um, but I hope, I hope that if you're, if you're watching, if you're still watching, first of all, thank you, you know, hit a like, um, and, and I appreciate the support. Um, but yeah, depending on how you think and how you've thought in the past, uh, this is very important because if, if, you, if you didn't think in such a positive you know, light about yourself and have this you know, positive self-image of yourself, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a challenge to, to, to change that, right? Because we have, we have essentially a, uh, a two-step process in, in our heads going on. Yeah, we have our, our conscious mind. So this is kind of the, the, the thing that we're, that we're processing and we're kind of thinking about, and we have the unconscious mind. So this is like a fixed, a fixed uh, the ideas and the, the, the ideas that we've had of ourselves, they're fixed down there and it's gonna be very difficult for, for those things to, to kind of change, right? And that's a message that was, uh, you know, that, that is delivered in, in, in the book itself, you know, that, that we have essentially uh, a judge, which is a conscious mind, and, uh, a robot and that's the unconscious mind so the robot does things automatically uh, while the conscious mind the judge kind of decides you know where where things are gonna go <sighs> which leads to the decisions that we make okay so start thinking win right little by little start thinking win if because if you start thinking lose you're gonna be a loser right and um, not saying that if you start thinking win you're gonna automatically be a winner Right? It's going to take a process. It's going to be it's going to be more than just one or two days. Right? It's going to be a, a daily thing. It's going to be a weekly thing. It's going to be uh, perhaps even a yearly thing. Right? In, in terms of, of uh, duration of how long it's going to take to, to really start changing, uh, you know, the, the dynamic inside your brain there. 
The next quality is having a positive self direction, meaning you have a place where you're going. And uh, these are targets, these are goals, these are aims, these are, you know, things that you're trying to achieve. Um, and, and essentially, you know, it's, it's recommended in, at least uh, not, not only in this book, but in, in other places that if you're going to be setting goals, write them down, right? remind yourself of them. Uh, but allow those things to, to, to give you direction, uh, right? And, um, you know, having, having those things to, to kind of guide you and navigate you towards a certain place. So that is the idea of having a positive self-direction. The next quality is positive self-discipline. And uh, this, is, this is essentially something that uh, I think Dr. Dennis Waitley really, really tried to uh, emphasize. And uh, what he tried to emphasize is that essentially with, with all of the, with the previous qualities that we've talked about, positive self-image, positive self-expectancy, positive self-direction, right? With, with all these different things uh, and, and those qualities, they, they would essentially mean nothing if we don't have positive self-discipline, meaning doing what it takes to get what we uh, what we want and 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 to achieve uh, you know our, our goals and to reach those goals right so essentially it's doing it's doing work and doing things that are that are moving us in that direction um, you know if if you if you have uh, fitness goals you're 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 eating healthier and you're disciplined enough to 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 be able to say no right to ice cream to snacks to uh, to, to more than one cheat day, for example, and um, you know, having that having that positive self discipline is is definitely uh, key in into into making us winners. And that was a very important and, and very emphasized message in this book. The next thing is positive self dimension, and positive self dimension is the idea that winners kind of look outside themselves for for the meaning of life. Right? We understand that it's not just us. We understand that, that people are, are going through, through difficult situations, right? And, and, and it's essentially, you know, re reaching out when, when, um, when somebody needs a hand. And, uh, you know, treating, treating people with, with respect and, uh, you know, trying to understand them. Um, and also, you know, treating animals not essentially like an animal, but also like a, like a human and humans like brothers and sisters. So uh, I think this is a very deep and, and more spiritual, uh, uh, you know, quality uh, in, in regards to, to the previous eight. Uh, but the idea here is to kind of look outside ourselves for for more, right? That was the, the main idea. Good. And the last thing is positive self-projection and positive self-projection is essentially you know, having having that that combination of all those things and, and projecting our best self, right? We 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 do um, we do not have to be the best in the group, but we do have to look our best in a group, right? So that's the that's the idea, and and you and you always try to present yourself in a, in an appropriate way, and, and you know handle yourself in a in an appropriate manner. So that's the idea with uh, positive self projection. But yes, uh, so now with with this book, uh, so you know, normally now after after I kind of talked about what the book, whole book was about, um, I go into a little bit of uh, you know a review of, as as far as what I thought uh, was good uh, and what I didn't like. So first of all, there wasn't really much that I didn't like. I actually didn't like that the book was was kind of so uh, so uh, thin, <laughs> right? But there's so much content, right? There's so much content in there that. Uh, I would definitely ha going to have to go back and, and really uh, reread certain parts uh, so, so that I can kind of make the best out of each of these qualities that, that we talked about today. Um, so if anything, that's what I, what I, what I feel could be, could be better <laughs> is that the book would be longer. Um, otherwise, I, I enjoyed the book. Uh, there's, there's plenty of examples of all these qualities. So uh, there's a lot of people that, that Dr. Dennis Waitley describes or talks about in the book that I, I had no idea who they were. Um, so that was also very interesting and, and very uh, cool to kind of learn about 
learn about different people and uh, different sports and different fields. So um, I think that's something that you guys will, will definitely enjoy. Okay, good. So normally with the book series, we also talk about how it's connected to coaching. Um, well, first of all, uh, uh, in regards to, to coaching, uh, yeah, we do want to be winners, right? We want to be winners, not, not only when the scoreboard, but also with, uh, with our players, we want to be uh, successful. And success means, you know, are, are, are they going home, uh, you know, feeling like they learned something? Are they, are, are you going home feeling like, like you, you kind of uh, performed at your best, right? And you did the best that you can do. Um, and are you thinking like a winner? Because that's, that's going to be something that's going to be important because your, your players feel that, feel that uh, as well, right? If you project, you know, positivity, your, your players are going to receive that positivity, Right? And then you can you can transfer that so that they can also essentially project that as well, right? And and you start with um, you know you, you start with that with that uh, community and, and essentially you know you can probably develop that into into hopefully the club, right? And uh, in regards to coaching, I think I think this book is going to be helpful in in helping you kind of build your own positive and and winning uh, mentality, right? So I think uh, in regards to coaches, I would definitely recommend this book. I would recommend it because I think that, uh, you know, we can all uh, learn to, to, to improve ourselves uh, and to improve our way of thinking and to improve what we're doing uh, on a daily basis. Good. So I have linked, you know, the book down at the description section. Uh, so if you're in the U.S., I, I have uh, U.S. written on it so that you, you go to the appropriate section if you want to purchase the book. Uh, I've also um, did a link to uh, you know Amazon Germany. So you just click on that and you can uh, uh, purchase it online if you're, if you're in, in Europe there. Okay, uh, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. I know this was a very long video today, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you do, or if you did enjoy it, then hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions in regards to the book. Um, otherwise, you guys have a good time and I'll see you guys next time.